The flight deck door has been improved to provide maximum protection against forced entry by an unauthorized intruder or small arms ballistic and fragment penetration. The controls and indicators are located on both the passenger and flight deck side. The flight deck side consists of indicator lights and a flight deck door selector on the aisle stand. A deadbolt with a segmented three position split locking lever. A viewing hole. Release pins. And decompression egress panels. If there is a fast forward decompression, the panels open into the flight compartment. This equalizes the pressure between the flight deck and the passenger compartment. The flight deck side also has a flight deck access system switch. This switch controls the power to the system. The passenger side consists of a deadbolt keyhole and an emergency access panel. The emergency access panel has three indicator lights, red, amber, and green. Red indicates the door is locked. Amber indicates the flight crew has entered the correct door entry code determined by the customer. And green indicates the door is unlocked. Use the keypad to gain either routine or emergency access into the flight deck. The flight deck door selector lets the flight crew control access into the flight deck. The door lock selector is a three position rotary switch with unlocked, auto, and deny positions. In the auto position, the door is locked. To unlock the door, the flight crew pushes and rotates the door lock selector to the unlocked position. The selector is spring-loaded to the auto position. Let's access the flight deck with the emergency access panel. For routine access, use the keypad and select 1, then enter. Continue. When you select Enter, a flight deck chime sounds if the customer has selected the doorbell option. The flight crew can then push and rotate the flight deck door selector to the unlocked position to unlock the door. If there is an emergency such as pilot incapacitation or if you need an alternate method to access the flight deck, you can use the Emergency Access Panel to enter an entry code on the keypad. The customer provides this code. Entering a code begins a timed sequence of events to unlock the door. The first oral alert sounds. The red door lock indicator light extinguishes. The amber light illuminates, indicating you entered the correct code. And the amber auto unlock indicator light illuminates on the flight deck. After a time delay, the oral alert sounds again. When the third oral alert sounds, a steady tone, the auto unlock light begins flashing. When the oral alert stops and the auto unlock light stops flashing, the green indicator light illuminates and the door unlocks for five seconds. The flight crew can still intervene and deny access to the flight deck anytime during the automatic opening sequence by momentarily selecting deny before the door unlocks. In the deny position, the amber auto unlock light extinguishes. 
and the red light illuminates on the emergency access panel. The keypad is also disabled for a set time delay. When the door is locked, you can use the door handle to exit the flight deck. Rotating the door handle unlocks the door. Now let's look at the deadbolt. A mechanically operated deadbolt provides additional security. The deadbolt is primarily for ground use only. On the flight deck side, you operate the deadbolt with the split locking lever. On the passenger side, you operate the deadbolt with a key. The deadbolt is unlocked in the vertical position. Rotating half of the lever 90 degrees counterclockwise locks the deadbolt and secures the door. You can also lock the deadbolt with the key from the passenger side. This provides overnight security. Rotating both halves of the lever 90 degrees counterclockwise also locks the deadbolt but prevents unlocking the door with the key. You can turn the system off by placing the flight deck access switch to off. This also unlocks the door. Typically, you use this feature to keep the door unlocked during ground maintenance. When the system access switch is in the off position, the amber lock fail light on the aisle stand illuminates and the door unlocks. If the flight deck door selector is in the auto position and the lock fail light illuminates, it indicates the door lock has failed. The decompression panels are also emergency exit panels. The flight crew slides the pins inward and pulls the panels out of the door. This provides an emergency exit if the security door becomes blocked or jammed.